Hey everyone, Rick at Word Search. Word Search 11 has multiple ways for you to input and organize your own information in the program. In this video, I want to talk to you about one of the most simple methods that often gets overlooked, the word processor. The word processor can be accessed from the main icon toolbar. As well, you can create a document or open an existing one in the file drop-down menu. Once saved, your documents will be stored in the library tab under documents. Now most of us have used a word processor before, but the word processor in WordSearch 11 comes with some very unique buttons and functions. The document toolbar starts out with four file options. New to start a new document, open to open an existing document, save to save the document under the current name, and save as to save the document with a new name. Next up on the toolbar is some common word processing functions. There is a spell check icon to help you check the spelling of your document, and the undo and redo to help you navigate through the history of changes of your document. The next four icons relate to font and style. You can bold your text, italicize your text, or underline your text. The A icon will give you access to these three style selections, and also allow you to change the font type, size, and color. The next two icons on the toolbar are our list options. You can make two different types of lists in the word processor a bulleted list, and a numbered list. Clicking on the list of choice will begin the list on your screen. As you type your information in, press enter and it will give you the next number or bullet for your list. When you are finished, simply press enter on a blank line to turn off the function. These lists can be used in conjunction with our next two buttons, the outdent and the indent buttons, to create outlines in the word processor. Simply start a list, and then use the indent or outdent to move the outline further in or out. The next three icons are justification icons, left, center, and right. They allow you to place your information anywhere you'd like to in your document. One of the great things about the word processor is that you can use hyperlinks to make your document interactive. There are three different ways to make hyperlinks in the word processor. The first method is to simply type in your book chapter verse reference. The word processor will automatically recognize it and make a hyperlink. The second method allows you to take any text in your document and link it to a book chapter verse reference. Simply highlight the text with your mouse and click on the hyperlink button available on the toolbar. From here you can use the book chapter verse selector to hyperlink to any passage of the Bible. The final method of hyperlinking in the word processor is to link to your books. In any book, right click on the passage and choose the create a link to this passage option. It will then ask you to name the hyperlink. Once you have clicked OK, it will then create a link that you can paste into the word processor. The next two icons on the toolbar work with the lesson maker function. The first one allows you to add lines with questions to help make a handout or a worksheet. The second button will allow you to renumber those questions. The final two icons on the word processor allow you to export your document to PowerPoint and to see your document in full screen. The word processor is a great function to use to type sermons, lessons, and notes. And the best thing about it is that everything typed into the word processor is fully searchable as part of the concordance search. If you'd like to learn more about the word processor or other ways to organize and input your information into WordSearch 11, please check out our Basic 6 class in our free live training classes. You can view them by clicking on the Live Training button from the home screen or by going to the Training tab at WordSearchBible.com. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.